Hi everyone. Alright, so we're here in Maya and we're gonna be talking about layered shaders, layered shaders and how they are pretty amazing. So let's say in this scene I have this door and since this is an old building I want to apply some graffiti to the so in Photoshop I have this uh, graffiti file I just took from Google, erased the background and everything and uh, uh, it's got a transparent background that's very important so I just erased the back all right so we're here in Maya now I'll open my hypershade so this is the actual um, let me just open this so this is the uh, shader uh, surface shader that I applied to this door and it's just a maroon color and we're gonna do a layer shader but before we do that let's bring in a file node file we bring in a file texture and we'll I'll bring in that so now I have these two I'll move them over to the side and then I'll bring in a layer shader yeah layer shader so what we have is two layers I'm going to enable the second layer the way it works is whatever is the last layer that takes over and covers everything so the first layer, I'm gonna pump in the uh, the maroon color that we had. So I'll take this one. Oops, I'm gonna click on the layer shader and plug in that. Then in the second layer, I'll bring in my file. And there you go. And now we'll take in the layer shader and apply it to the door. There you go. Now you won't see it in the viewport because view, viewport 2.0 doesn't support it. So I'll go render Arnold. Let's do a render. All right, so currently what you see is the second layer, as I was saying, it pretty much took over the entire uh, shader. So that's why we need to ha make sure that our texture has transparency in it and we can use that to our advantage. As you can see, we have this mix value here. If I slide this down, I can see my background. And as I slide it to one, then it covers everything. So what I can do, I can take this file texture and drag that into the mix. And that will do a fix. So I'll just wait for this to run. All right, and as you can see, the texture has been applied. The graffiti has been applied to the door. And we still preserve the background color which is I think pretty cool. You can use this uh, to, I guess, put labels on bottles or maybe uh, on cars, you can put decals. So yeah, that'll be all.